So hello and welcome to Tsenos version 3.1 release webinar again. Uh, thank you for finding the time and joining our short presentation about the news and updates uh, of Tsenos induction heating app. Today we are going to take a look at the technical improvements and new functionality of our software. And as always, if you think of some questions even before the Q&A, which we are going to have after the presentation, please write them in the chat and we will go over them during the Q&A session. Before we jump into the new release, I actually wanted to start with a little reminder. Uh, in the previous uh, version 3.0 release, uh, we have greatly improved and actually reworked a lot of uh, from CAD uh, geometry creation approach, making it a better alternative for 3D case creation than the previously widely used advanced geometry editor. Uh, simple CAD file processing role definition together with improved automatic meshing makes from CAD uh, the best approach for 3D cases that we currently have in Sanos. And we plan to even develop from CAD uh, even further uh, in future to help you uh, additionally with uh, improved mesh control and geometry modification problems. So I just wanted to take my time to encourage you to try out the from CAD approach for your 3D cases if you haven't done it already. But all right, let's take a look at the new release. Um, one long awaited new functionality, which I'm personally very hyped about, is uh, the power control, which is finally here. Up until now, uh, to make sure our induction heating simulation power matches the one from our real life system, we needed to fine tune the input current value to get the correct output power value, which took uh, quite a lot of iterations, was time consuming and a bit tedious, to be honest. And I know that uh, almost all of you uh, who have worked with Xenos uh, have found yourselves in this specific situation. Uh, now you can actually take the power value from your power supply and define it directly into the simulation. And the power level will be held uh, constant during the whole calculation time. You can find power control next to the existing current or voltage inputs in Senos Inductor Domain tab uh, right there in the dropdown uh, where the current and voltage is. Uh, however, there are still some things regarding the power control usage that you should be aware of, uh, which I wanted to point out. Firstly, uh, existing power control implementation that we have does not support power control for multiple inductors, meaning that if you have a system with more than one inductor, you will need to use uh, the current or voltage values as means of, con uh, of uh, process control uh, as you did it previously. Uh, we are aware of this limitation and we are already looking into the possible solutions for it. Uh, secondly, if there has been a mistake during the impedance matching uh, between your power supply and your induction uh, heating system, some part of the power can actually be reflected back to the power supply, meaning that the actual applied power to the system will be smaller than the one coming out of your generator. In such cases, simulation will also show a different result due to, due to the fact that uh, the actual applied power is actually different uh, from the one that's coming out of your generator. So if you see that your simulation gives a higher temperature than you expect, and if everything else in the setup looks good, problems with impedance matching can be one of the reasons why. Um, with the previous version 3.0, we introduced a reworked movement definition, uh, which you probably have seen as a separate movement tab within Senos physics definition, uh, which is more reliable and easier to use than the previous approach we had. However, complex rotation wasn't available then, which we have added with this release. So now you can use the new motion tab for every movement case you can imagine, including complex rotation, uh, cases used in applications, for example, uh, like single shot hardening. Previously existing restrictions that cannot that you cannot move your workpiece have also been lifted. As you see in the GIF, you can apply scanning or rotational movement directly to your workpiece, and you don't necessarily need to move the inductor and flux concentrators around your system anymore. But of course, the choice is still up to you. In uh, the new version 3.1, we have also expanded the functionality of templates by adding the possibility to create more than one inductor there. Just click on the plus sign uh, icon, on the plus icon next to the inductor template tab and add as much inductors as you want to your template setup. 
define multiple inductors with different cross sections, different diameters, different winding counts, you can go wild. Uh, this addition is exceptionally useful for billet preheating applications, which you can define and run through templates now, making axially symmetrical billet heating case definitions easier than ever. Um, alongside the large updates, we have also had some uh, minor ones uh, as well, including some bug fixes. Uh, as for the improvements, uh, we have also improved the CAD file support in the from CAD approach, which now supports also IGS uh, CAD file extensions. We have also improved our error troubleshooting capabilities by adding additional crash dump files, which are being written out uh, out of Xenos uh, in case your simulation crashes, which will help us uh, to find the problem faster. And if you reach out to us uh, with that problem, we are going to help you even faster than before. As for the bug fixes, uh, previously from CAD mesh density actually was not working, which is now fixed and you can adjust the fineness of your automatically generated mesh without any problems whatsoever. Some additional bugs were also seen in specific cases, including complex motion, such as uh, part of view temperature probe and hardened profile filters, which are not working in some specific cases, as well as the continue from function, which also was not working in uh, specific uh, complex motion cases, uh, which have all now been fixed. These were the news and updates of Cenos version 3.1. Uh, we really appreciate your feedback. So if there is anything you would like to comment about or uh, give an idea uh, of uh, what you would see or need within the simulation, uh, please reach us out, give us a call, and we will be happy to talk to you and understand uh, your user experience and what you need from Thanos.